And Russia's president has delivered one of his strongest foreign policy statements ever, hitting out at America for trying to reshape the world to its own benefit. Now, Vladimir Putin was addressing an informal group of scholars at the annual Valdai Discussion Club at the event held in Sochi this year. And that's where RT's Yegor Piskunov now reports from. Global security is in crisis. That's the message from President Putin, who accused the U.S. of dragging the world into chaos, ignoring rules and punishing those who don't share its interests. There are many tried and tested ways of influencing insubordinates. There are military actions, economic ones and propaganda pressure. There's interference into domestic affairs and appeals to a super-legal legitimacy when it's needed to justify legal intervention in different conflicts or toppling in convenient regimes. Recently, we have increasing evidence that outright blackmail has been used with regard to a number of leaders. The president also noted how the mistakes of the past still find their way into the present. Western-backed jihadists fighting against the Soviet Union in Afghanistan later turned into al-Qaeda and the Taliban. And now rebels in Syria have turned into Islamic State, which is destroying the Middle East. President Obama labelled the Islamic State as one of the main global threats. But who helped to arm those fighting against Assad in Syria? Who created a political and informational climate that fits their interests? Who promoted weapon transfers? I think this policy is absolutely irrational, unprofessional and groundless. Crimea and the double standards surrounding it were also talked about, and he made clear that Russia would protect its interests with the help of an old saying. In 1954, Khrushchev, who for some reason liked to hit his shoe on the desk at the United Nations, decided to delegate Crimea to Ukraine. This was a blatant violation of the legislation of that time. Finally, talking about sanctions, Putin said they are hurting all sides, but stressed they are not going to force Russia to isolate itself from the world. President Putin is no stranger to tough words, but some of the statements he made here at the forum were among the strongest yet. A sign Moscow is not indifferent to what's happening in the world and can't ignore rules constantly being broken, since stable and reliable global security is something everyone should be more than interested in. Igor Piskunov, RT, reporting from Sochi. Vladimir Putin also told the International Discussion Club that sanctions are actually encouraging countries to seek financial and economic sovereignty. RT International caught up with some former senior government officials who joined the conference this year to get their opinions on the economic warfare between Moscow and Western countries. Historically, as far as I know, sanctions, uh, except for the case of South Africa, and South Africa was a very particular case, uh, normally did not succeed in changing the positions of a country. And, uh, and in the case of Russia, there is also uh, this is a country that has uh, a, a, a maneuver space. That's not uh, it has a space for maneuvering. It's not going to be easy, but it has Eurasia, it has China, it can move around. Well, I believe that we are all paying the price for the sanctions. Of course, uh, Russia, because of uh, more economic and, and financial difficulties, but also the West. This is true in Europe, where we see that the growth and the difficulty in getting the recovery uh, is uh, very hard. In all of this crisis, we need Russia. And at the same time, Russia needs the world. We are moving now in a new era. There is no hegemon anymore, no one, uh, one uh, unipolar world, not one country could uh, dictating everything. We are going into a multipolar world. And Russia, of course, uh, plays an important part in it. Russia has enormous resources, is our neighbor. And you know, you cannot change your family, your territory or in your neighborhood. Now, Putin's strong comments saw his speech branded in the international media as his most anti-American diatribe ever. Some read his message as being, quote, don't mess with Mother Russia. But was that really what the Russian leader was implying? We asked several experts why Putin opted for the tough talk, and they said he was actually pushing for a sincere change in Western policies. The reason he's been so blunt in this latest speech is that he's been saying these things for years, just much more politely, and nobody here has been listening. So, uh, and if, even if they have been listening, they haven't been paying attention. Uh, so I, I don't think they will, this will change their policy at all. Unfortunately, I wish it would. U.S. policies and Western policies in general are not the result of a genuine perception of a Russian threat. Rather, they are guided by a long-term geopolitical game 
which hasn't changed since the Cold War. It's a very, very strong speech. Uh, and uh, it reveals that Putin is really frustrated in his relations with the United States and with the West as a whole, and uh, perhaps they can directly take that point and say, right, be so frustrated, uh, perhaps this is the time to uh, enter in some kind of dialogue to try and find some language of communication. And there's more on Putin's speech at RT.com. Our online team has selected some of his strongest quotes. You can head to our website to find out why Putin was mentioning a genie in a bottle and that of the Russian bear.